It's time for an adventure, but first I gotta check the mail. Ooh. A key. Now why would somebody send me a key? That is weird, let me see what it says. Ooh, it's like national treasure, here we go. Postal customer, you have mail in locker number 10. Hmm, let's check this out. Number 10, number 10, number 10. There's two things here. I don't know which one to put. No, it's not that one. Nope, not that one. Nope. <gasps> A package. Wow. That's cool. I got a package. Let's check this out. But first, our adventure. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. No friends, I am not in Hill Valley, 1955. I am in the city of Seguin the little city of Seguin, but there's something big that's hidden here, and we're gonna find it. But check out how beautiful it is. Look at that. It's like I'm back in time, in Hill Valley, except for that truck. Get out of my shot, truck. Look, it's so nice here. Sorry if it's too windy. Check out this town square. It's very reminiscent of the town square in Hill Valley in 1955. That is cool. I never knew this was here, so this is a surprise to you and me. Now, of course, the city of Seguin was founded in the year 1838, and I did not learn that from a rock. Check out this memorial to Juan Seguin. I cannot say his middle name because I'm not really good at pronouncing things. Apparently, this guy was the best. He fought in all the major battles for the freedom of Texas. And anybody who fights for the freedom of Texas is all right by me. The history of Juan Seguin is put on the bottom of this memorial thing with his statue on top. It's pretty cool. This place is just so beautiful. Look at it. It's so peaceful. In fact, I think I'm gonna eat my lunch out here. This is so nice. Look at this fountain. Look how pretty it is. I'm gonna take a fun one. Fun one! Not only does Seguin have a lot of Texas history and a lot of beautiful things to see. It also has some of my history here. And we're gonna take a walk and we're just gonna look at some of the buildings. Cause look at, these are like original buildings. This is like an old town. This is like the orange, this is like the city of orange if it was maybe four times bigger. So I kind of like it. It's pretty cool. Right behind me is the Guadalupe County Courthouse. It is pretty big. And cool. I like walking by all these old businesses and wondering what was here back in the day. Look, there's so many businesses here. Oh, look, this place. Austin St. Live. Look, look at this. It's a guitar handle. That is cool. That is cool. But I like to think back like, what used to be here? What was the city like? That's a new building, I can tell. This is an old building. You can see the difference. These look way better than those buildings. According to this sign, whoop, the Heritage Museum is just down that way. I don't know if we're gonna do that today. We might save it for another vlog because I plan on coming out to Seguin a lot more. I have some friends that live out here that I wanna reconnect with. They also like doing movies and making short films and stuff like that. So I'm sure we're gonna be out here filming things. And that brings us to my history. Right in this building is where I shot my first short film. It was called The Ballad of Ramon and it was a Spanish subtitled movie because it was like part of one of those 28, 24 hour film festival things and the one category we didn't want to get was Spanish because nobody in our group spoke Spanish, still doesn't speak Spanish to this day. And that's what we ended up getting. What are the odds of that? We came out here and we made an awesome little movie. I'll put the link in the description. You guys can check it out and tell me what you think. It was our first short film. It was pretty cool. 
It is so weird to be back. We shot right in this little lobby. Right there was, it used to be a little Mexican taco shop place and we actually shot a scene in there too. But we were up in this hotel, we did a police chase scene. It was really cool. We were up on the balcony shooting down here and it's pretty, we're gonna, we're gonna get closer. Cause it's, it feels so weird to be back here. It's been so long ago and now I'm doing different things. But I'm, I'm gonna be coming back to this. Not necessarily to this building, but to making shorts and stuff. Cause that's what I really wanna do. It's so cool. I used to be a codependent person and always have to have somebody with me all the time. Well, I guess kind of, I still, I still kind of am because I have you guys with me. I don't think I would come out here unless you guys were with me. So thanks for coming out. Look, right in here we shot. Me and the cameraman were way up there. Oh, get my finger out of the way. We were up there and uh, we did a scene right here where um, the guy was being held up by the police. And I remember distinctly, we did a shot where we told him, okay, just duck down out of the camera's view. And we said action and he jumped straight down and hit his head on a table. So if you can imagine, we're setting up a scene, we told we told the actor, hey, just drop out drop drop out of frame like he got shot. And he was like, okay. Then we do the scene, the gunshot goes off, and he drops to the ground fast, like as if he got shot in the head. Hits his head on a glass table. We were first we were scared that he broke the glass table and then we were scared wow what if this guy has a concussion because he hit his head really hard but it went to show how dedicated we were to making a great little movie so like i said i'm gonna put the link in the description you guys look at it and check it out right tell me what you think tell us what you think because we're gonna start making more of those but they're gonna be better now because we've gotten better you know it's been time you, you spend time doing your craft and eventually you get better doing it like when I started playing guitar I was terrible then I sat in my room for a whole summer no air condition a hot little room and I watched and listened to a whole bunch of Jimi Hendrix and Stevie Ray Vaughan and then it, it just clicked and I could I could listen to what they were doing and I knew what they were doing and I could do it from then on so you gotta practice and that's what we've been doing, so we're gonna make better shorts. But yeah, check out the Ballad of Ramon. But let's continue, let's continue this journey to find what this little town is hiding. Because what it's hiding is the biggest in the world. I just can't get over how beautiful this old town is. I mean, look at the buildings, you got the old beauty school sign. I know it's not super old, but look, they got a beauty school just like they do in Orange. That is crazy. It's almost like being back there. Maybe I should move to Seguin. This is nice. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, what I'm about to show you goes along with the whole motif of everything is bigger in Texas. Now, I want you guys to sit down. Make sure you're sitting down before you see this. This is amazing. Check it out. Before we get to the world's biggest thing, I wanted to take a look at this. Old Spanish trail to the early Spanish explorers who passed this way. Check it out. The early Spanish explorers would stop over here in Guadalupe County, which is where Seguin is. You know, this was a main stop. This was a main hub, right? So, of course, when you think of traveling Spaniards, you think of giant pecans. Check this out. Seguin, home of the world's largest pecan. And check out this pecan. This is so crazy. Look, that's a big nut. That is a big nut. Look, look how big the nut is. That is so crazy, that's a big pecan. How do you say it where you're from? Pecane, I heard pecane before. That's wrong, it's pecan. Look, there it is. The world's largest pecan. Isn't that crazy? There it is in all of its glory. That's a giant nut! Now that is something that you don't think you would see in a little Texas town, the world's largest pecan. Am I right? I mean, look at it. And people, all these people just drive by it all the time, not noticing it. But apparently pecans were really big because the guy who was traveling down here followed the river of pecans this way. And because they, and he was the first European to, you know, talk about pecans. And so he basically discovered them for the world. And you know, pecans, man, 
I'm surprised they don't have like pecan vendors here. Look, there's a pecan thief. There's a pecan thief over there. Sakin isn't that nice of a town. They still got crime. I know it was you. Do you know Julio? Are you in cohorts with Julio? Is he pooping? He's pooping at me, everybody. Stupid squirrel. And I think that's it for today. There's a lot of things to do. Well, not a lot of things. There are some things to do in Seguin. I want to go to the Heritage Museum over there. They got a whole bunch of Texas artifacts and Seguin artifacts. Talking about the history, that would be cool to check out. And they have this cool walkway over here, rose garden thing. I want to take you guys over there. Not today though, because I have other things to do. But Seguin is only, you know, 20 minutes away from my dad's house, so. It's fairly close, so I can make it out here all the time. So, be on the lookout for those. Seguin, Texas. Man, it's a pretty little town. I like it. I like it a lot. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!